Hello, my amazing artist friends. How are you? Today is the day after my birthday. Yes, I am now the big four zero. Yes, I had a good day yesterday. I hope you all did. I made myself a Paris cake. It was pretty cute. I even like made my homemade icing and everything and then I decorated it with like little rosettes and stuff. It was so cute. I had a lot of fun. It was nice to get out of the art box and get into baking. I'm not much of a cook, but you know, sometimes you gotta use your other side of your brain. All right, people. So, hello. It is Thursday, and I promised the sweet shop today. Yes, I did. So, I was supposed to be in Paris for the whole week uh, to celebrate my birthday. And instead, COVID happened. So, I decided that we would draw Paris this week. And I even took my pretty little kneaded eraser that I love so much. And I sculpted the Eiffel Tower. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was on a phone call and needed to do something, so that's what I did. So, announcements are, I have a pineapple class coming up in Watercolor World. And all the sign-up is bit.ly pineapple class. All one word. It is on May 21st at 5 o'clock. And it's a Zoom class, and we'll be making this handy-dandy pineapple. Don't you love pineapples? Maybe we can make some pina coladas. And I also want you to know that I offer private Zoom classes for $25. Uh, you can have, that's one for that. And then you could buy four for 80 if you wanted to. And we will do whatever you want to do in watercolor. So that is a fun little class that's an option. But today, we're doing our little fun sweet shop, and I'm going to move out my cute little, I'm going to put it over here to the side, maybe. Yeah, I think I'm going to do it over here. Feels like I'm playing chess. Um, and you need a pencil. You need a pen. If you have a pencil, you might want to erase, so make sure your eraser is good. That's why I always have my kneaded eraser. You're gonna love it when I smush this. <laughs> okay, you're gonna need some watercolors. So today I decided I was just gonna have some fun, so I'm gonna use whatever I have that I like the colors mostly. This is a Crayola set, and it actually does fantastic colors. So I do enjoy this set, but I don't think I'm gonna use it today. I think I'm gonna use my big set. Mainly because I have these two colors. Let's see if I can get this little color right here and this little color right here. These two. They are some of my favorite colors. So we are going to do that with those. Or I am anyways. You need paint brushes. So I have a um, mop here. This is called an oval mop I just found out. It's a quarter of an inch. And it's probably made out of squirrel hair or something like that. It's really, really soft. I don't know where I got it. Don't know pretty much anything about this. Uh, it's been through a lot. It's been with me a long, long, long time. So, that's one of my favorites. But because we'll be doing little bitty tiny stuff today, I will be probably using my small baby brush. So this brush is a Simply Simmons round brush. It is a 2.0. And I bought this at Michael's. It's uh, been used quite a bit. I probably, it's time for a new one. But I do love this one and I will be using it for my little macaroons and stuff like that, okay? All right, so we did this on Tuesday. So if you wanna go to Paris and draw some Paris, go watch my Tuesday show. I'll have them up on my YouTube channel and also my um, Facebook should have it. Awesome. You need some watercolor paper. You don't have to have watercolor paper, but I enjoy watercolor paper. Uh, this is a 9 by 12 
and it's 140 pounds. This is what's so important when you're looking at paper is the poundages, <laughs> the weight on, uh, and you need it. To, this is 140 pounds and it is very, very tough. You don't have to have expensive kind. This is from Michaels and I bought three of these actually. And they are, um, three of these and they are actually in, um, $5. I'm sorry. Someone is here and I think they're in the wrong spot. So I'm having to watch outside. I think maybe I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong. Sorry. You're getting me distracted. So I'm having my piece of paper and I'm going to half this at the very beginning, okay? So what I'm gonna do is half it. So we need to have, I don't like to use a whole piece of paper. Honestly, I like to save my paper, especially for these little baby exercises. So I've got this, this is 12 inches. We're gonna half it. I'm gonna give you a six, a little dot right there. And then I'm gonna move up here to this side and make another little dot, a six right there. Now. We're going to score it. Scoring helps things be folded. Okay, it makes things nice and clean so you don't have a whole lot of wrinkles. And one of my favorite tools is a spoon. Of all the things, yes, a spoon. So this spoon is, um, it's this side right here that I'm going to use. It's the tip edge of the spoon. I'm going to hold it down. I'm going to hold it, the ruler down on the left and push down, and then I'm going to take my spoon, I'm going to hold it in my right hand, and I'm going to push down as I go along the ruler, and I'm going to do it a few times, just like that. So what, maybe I did it five times, and I push down. So what that does is it actually creates, do you all see that fold right there, if I put a shadow to it? That helps us fold it. So, I'm going to turn it over to the side. This is where the fold is. Y'all see that? And it's starting to fold really nice and smooth. That's what I'm wanting. So, I'm going to hold it down with my left hand. I haven't smushed it yet. Don't smush it. No smushing. Then I'm going to take my spoon. I'm going to take this time the round edge. And I'm going to push it down here in the, in the middle of this. All right. And then I'm going to push it to up and then push it down. And it's just nice and little like that. And that gets me a beautiful edge. And it stays, well, sort of shut, right? It will. And if you really want to make it extra special and extra tight, you can do it on the inside also. Okay. Now make sure that whatever you're going to fold this with is very clean. You don't want this dirty because then it'll rub on your paper. Okay, so that is my big card now. This is going to be, if it's going to be a card, it's actually going to not fit in an envelope because it's kind of big. But that's okay. All right, so this is what I'm going to work on today. Is This is half of a 9 by 12 piece of paper. Okay, and we are going to make a sweet shop. Okay, let's talk about this before we get started. One, uh, Paris is known for their pastries, and also, thank you, Barb. Um, so, one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to try to focus on some of these pastries and stuff, but I also wanted to put a person in here, but we don't have to. Pastry shops in Paris are just as pretty without people, so we don't have to do that. I just did that because it was fun. And I want you to know you don't have to use my colors. I started looking at color schemes of Paris, and it's interesting. A lot of them are uh, very dark with a very light pastel. So I think I'm going to um, watch. I'm going to see what I'm... I might play around with that. Okay, but... Every pastry shop has a window. That's right. Ooh la la. I like that. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. 
I've got over here on the left hand side, you can't see, but I have a picture of a pastry shop, a real one. This one was in my imagination. So we might change it just a little bit, but I'm gonna put it up here, okay? Okay, so here we go. The one thing that we're gonna start with is a rectangle. Well, actually let's start with the top and bottom. One, we need a floor. We need the ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make a horizontal line right there, okay? Then I'm gonna have to make a little area where I want my sweet shop words to go, right? So I'm gonna make that up here too. Now, you can make this nice and light so you can erase it later or you can just go for it, okay? Another thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like frame this out. I don't want anything on these sides, okay? I'm doing nothing in these sides. I'm just gonna keep it all in this area, all right? But my sweet shop's gonna be able to be up there if I want. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide it up into two rectangles, all right? One horizontal, one tall and long for the door. So here I go is I'm going to make I'm gonna come in, I'm gonna make a nice big bay window here. So I'm doing one big rectangle just like that. And then I'm gonna come over, I'm gonna leave maybe about a finger width right here, and I'm going to make a door. Now this door is gonna come all the way down. And do you see how they're not perfectly straight? There's nothing really, you know, fancy about this. It's just a bunch of rectangles right now, okay? And Facebook, I'm having your, this is wider than I normally have it, isn't it? Let's see if I can lift you just a little bit. I don't know if that's helping or not. We'll see. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do next. We need to do almost every single one of the pastry shops have a banner or um, awning or something like this. So we're gonna make those next. So I want you to come in and I want you to make, let's see how far down. I'm gonna make this, this right here, okay? And I'm gonna do the same to the door. So I have two lines going across, but I've skipped this section right here where the door's not, and I've made it go straight across. Now what we've got to do is because when the door, when a, it angles in because of perspective, perspective is things that go in and out of the wall, right? Like this one is in front of this one. So what I did is I shaved off the edges. Y'all see that? I shaved off these corner edges and I made a triangle. I also went out a little bit farther, just a little bit farther. I'm going to do the same thing with my door here. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to shave off those edges. Now, this is the time where I also have noticed a lot of these sweet shops have a scalloped edge. Do y'all know what a scallop is? So a scalloped edge is something that I'm gonna make it come down just a little bit. So I just did these little, just a little, all the way across. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make scallops. Scallops are half circles and they don't go all the way up. Now, my original doesn't have this, so I am playing right now. <laughs> That's what I'm doing today. This whole week, I decided I was just going to do fun stuff and fun things that I wanted to do. So, here is what I've got here. Now, another thing that I've noticed about these awnings is a lot of them are striped. Don't y'all love stripes? I love stripes. Well, I don't like to wear stripes, but I love to paint stripes. So one of the things I want you to know is, is if you notice, because this is angled in with a perspective, that means that 
on this side, on the back side, they're all skinnier than they are up here. They get fatter as they go down, all right, wider. So one of the things I want you to do is like, let's say if this one is gonna be this big, all right, y'all see that? I'm gonna make this one small up here, so I'm just gonna make it like that. There's one, and then I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna keep making little by little all the way across. Now, one of the things I want you to remember is, y'all see that? I'm gonna continue that over here with my door. Now, I have these scallops, which did not line up, of course. That's okay with me. I know it probably is gonna drive some of you crazy, but you know what I can do is I can make this whole thing a solid color and not worry about that because I am looking at an example that actually does that. Okay, so that's what I plan on doing. Okay, so now I have my window and my awning. All right, we gotta make some more window stuff, right? So one of the things I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna frame out my window. So every window, has a window seal, right? So I'm just basically making a little outline all the way around my window, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is going to make some, uh, I don't know, do we wanna have um, lines in this one or do we want it completely clear? I think I'm gonna make a little bit of lines. So, at least one down here in the middle. So I'm gonna go ahead and divide this up right here. So I'm gonna make a nice big one right here. All right, I think that's good enough for my window. Now I'm gonna come over here to my door. Now this door that I did was a bunch of windows, a bunch of rectangles. All right, so basically all I did was I did a lot of tic-tac-toes. I went down horizontal and then I went across. This one that I think I'm gonna do now is it's gonna have, it's gonna have a large window and then down here at the bottom, that kick plate where they put the mail. You see that little mail thing right there? Now, note that the top of the door is up here. So really, this is like the area, this is like the middle of the door, which is where, right, the, um, what do you call that, doorknob would be. So you can put it on the left or the right, I don't really care. I think I'm gonna do it over here. Nope, I think I'm gonna do it over here. Okay, I think I'm gonna do it over here. This one I'm gonna put as little, it's gonna be a, rectangle with a knob okay looking good all right so now what I'm gonna do is decorate just a little bit okay so one of the things that I like that I did didn't do on this one is that I have these uh, little areas right here I like that color right there so I think I'm gonna add that in all right yeah I'm changing things up you know how I love to do that so I'm gonna come in and are you ready? I'm gonna shh, I'm gonna totally ruin my little Eiffel Tower needed eraser. Are you ready? Here I go, I'm gonna ruin it. Ooh! Yeah, I know. Was that hard for anybody to watch? It was hard for me to do a little bit. It was fun, but I'll just make it again. Okay, so I've now made this area. I like that much better now. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make panels. Okay, so I'm gonna do one, two, one, two. So I'm gonna come in and do two rectangles. Do y'all see a pattern here? It's called rectangle day. Well, kind of. We're not yet to the pastries, right? The best part. Now one of the things, mm, no, I'm going to leave it just like that. We're going to paint it. Okay, so now let's talk about some pastries. 
Whoop, whoop. All right, you could make bread here, but I'm really into um, sweets. So this is a sweet shop for me. Sweet shop. Mm -hmm. Although I do like bread. Y'all like bread? I love bread. Mm. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. One of the things I've noticed in pastry shops is they have shelves because, you know, food is flat, right? So one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to divide these two things into, like, this is the bottom shelf, and then this is the top shelf. All right, so I now have two lines for my top and bottom shelf, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, let's talk about cakes first and composition. Do you all see that I have a cake and then I have cupcakes? And then I have a lot and then I have cake. So one of the things I want you to know about cupcakes or even macaroons, do you all see how much white space is around all of this? Well, it's beside something that's very solid, these cakes, right? These cakes are just big blocks of color. So I want us to alternate. So I don't want you to do all cupcakes and I don't want you to do all cakes. We're gonna have to mix it up. Okay, so one of the things I'm gonna do first is make a tiered cake. So we made a tiered cake uh, a couple weeks ago or days ago, right? We made cakes. So. We said that a cake was a rectangle and another rectangle. And there's one cake. And you could, let's say you wanted to have like a rose or maybe just a bow. I'm going to do a bow. That looks good. All right. Next, I'm going to, let's make another cake. I'm going to make a cake down here. Nope, yeah, mm, I don't know. I'm gonna make a tall cake here, okay? So I'm gonna make one big cake, just like that. Now this cake is gonna be stripes. So I think I'm gonna make it like this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add stripes to it. That's fun. All right, next I'm gonna make a three-tiered cake. So what would that look like? A three-tiered cake would be skinnier than these, right? So they're not as tall. So I'm going to have one, two, three. There's my third cake. Now, I think what I'm going to do over here is let's talk about cupcakes. So, you know, cupcakes can come in all kinds of different platters, right? So one of the things that I've learned about cupcakes is some people like to have their platter. So it's like this. This is their platter. You see that? Uh, two plates. Mm -hmm. And you could then make cupcakes on it. Now, I may need to make this bigger, so I'm going to go ahead and make those bigger. Now I'm gonna do cupcakes. Now cupcakes is a little symbol like that. Y'all see that? With a cloud on top. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna add a few of those. And I'm going to try to add three down here at the bottom. Ooh, maybe four. Okay. Now, I know that it gets kind of tight, but we can keep working on it, okay? So, we've got two, and this one's got this little, little doodad there. Okay, next I'm going to make macaroons mm. now macaroons they just kind of get stacked on top of each other but you know they're really nothing but these little round little circles on top of each other so i'm just going to sit here and i'm going to do tear them up so i'm going to go one two three four one two three eh, i did four there and I'm going to keep doing this 
You see that? And now I've got my macarons that are just there. Now these could be all the same color or they could be different colors. You could have some real fun with those because people make them all shapes and all sizes. It's so much fun. Another way that people do cupcakes is they actually have, a, it looks like a tree almost. So what I want you to do is we're gonna work on this scalloped thing. So I've got one, two, three. There's a three. Then I'm gonna come up from that and I'm gonna do one, two. And then I'm gonna have a line all the way down. Y'all see that? Okay, each one of these little areas is gonna get a cupcake or a cookie or a little baby cake or I'm not sure what. But I make a little area just like that, little plates. You see that? Kind of looks like a chandelier. Or that's how you would make a chandelier. And then I'm going to make little cupcakes on there. Look how cute they are. Now, again, these could be all the same size. They could be all the same color. And there is my little, this area here, I'm going to just make a little... It's going to be my fancy dancy platter. Okay, now let's come down here to this side. I could do a couple things. I could add another cake. I could add another um, cupcake. What are you thinking about? What do you think that I should do? I think I'm going to, let's see here. I'm looking for inspiration. I'm not seeing much inspiration. So, one of the things I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do a cake. I think I'm going to do, this is going to be a shelf. So, I've made a shelf. And then I'm going to make a little baby cake like I made yesterday. So there's a little cake, and I'm going to make another little cake and put it right there. Yeah, I might get rid of how big that is. I might say that this shelf only has that little area right there, but it's on top of each other. I like that. Okay, and then what I'm going to, oh, a basket of baguettes. Okay, that would work. But I'm doing just sweets. I do like, oh, oh, you could do cannolis too. Uh, yeah, there's all kinds of things that you could do. And this one over here, what I think I'm going to do is, I think I might continue this shelf right here. So it's like one of those things that just sit there. And this time, I'm going to have plates of cake, like pieces of cake. All right, so my pieces of cake is going to have, it's more of a, it's a rectangle. All right, so there's a tall rectangle. I'm going to do two, but it has this edge to it. And you see how, what I did with that? So I added a little triangle on top to make it look like a wedge of cake. Y'all see that? that wedge right there. All right, I'm gonna do that same thing down here. Maybe it's pie. Mm, my dad loves pie. So this time, if it's pie, I'm gonna do it short like that. That's pretty good. I'm gonna do short pie. What's your favorite pie? You know, honestly, pie's not my favorite. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do next. I'm finished with this area. You want to have most of it drawn so you know what to do. So when you paint, it's just fun. Okay? And you want to erase what you don't want and that kind of thing. So now I'm going to come over here to this door. And this is goes, I might change that. I don't like my girl leaving. So this is something that is your personal preference. My girl is walking past it and going inside. But I kind of want my girl... I think I'm gonna have her pointing to the cakes. So this way, I think I'm gonna erase 
Yeah, you can tell I'm all over the place today, right? I actually did plan this, but you know, I get off track sometimes. All right, so I'm going to actually make my girl. She's going to go. You need to think that she's in front of stuff. So whatever we have on this door, we're going to have to erase. So here we go. I'm going to start with a head. A head is just a circle. It's more of an oval, right? Then I'm going to start with a neck. Okay, now, don't get carried away and go, I don't think this is right. Just go with me. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a triangle that's squared off. You all see that? That is her stomach and her chest and her shoulders. This is the top part of her, right? Now we're going to make the bottom part of her. And my girl is going to have a skirt on. So my skirt, I'm going to go just like that with my skirt. Okay? And now I'm going to do my legs. So I want my girl to be side profile, right? So that means that her shoulder is probably around here. I know she doesn't have legs yet, but just stay with me. And I'm going to make, this is her shoulder, and this is her arm. And this is the bags that she's carrying because she shopped all day, right? And I just did it like that. I'm going to erase that. All right. So, that's the bag that she had. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is because... We don't normally have this part right here, right? Like, that's weird. That's not a chest or another shoulder. It would go down. So, I'm going to cut that part off. You see how I've now made her into a lady. Okay. Now, I'm going to talk about her legs. Well, I've always wanted long legs. I don't know about you all, but I'm short and I want long legs. So here's what I like to do. I like to think about her legs, that this skirt goes to her knees, okay? Or maybe her knees go a little bit underneath. So I'm gonna make two dots for her knees. Okay, now we need to think about what she's walking right so if she's walking the way i like to do this is down here this is going to be her ankle all right that's going to be only one leg let's do only one leg so this is her ankle and this is her knee the knee is bigger so i make kind of a um i connect them but do you see how it's thicker up here at the knee than it is down here at the ankle Okay, and then I'm just going to make that go up like that. All right. Now, I'll give you a secret. Because it's, the, because it's a side profile, everybody's calf muscle comes out like that to a point. Now, I'm going to give you a zoom in here. And the good thing about watercolor is, is that we don't have to have this perfect. Y'all see that? So, here's the knee, here's the ankle, and here's the calf muscle. And I'm going to do the same with this one, but this one, she's going to come out that way. All right? So, she's walking, so I'm going to make her knee go out like that. I'm going to come like that. And now, if this is her knee, do you see how I, I moved my piece of paper? That's fine. And I'm going to come in and I'm going to connect it. And I'm going to do just a little bit like that. And you see how I've now made her leg. And it takes practice, people. And I'll be honest with you, uh, drawing people's legs are not my favorite thing to do. 
But now you're going, oh, she doesn't have any feet. We got to have some feet. So one of the things that I like to do about feet is, so here's the ankle. And here is the heel. And here is the foot. So did you see that? Yeah, probably not. So I come down and my heel comes out just a little bit. Okay, then I make the bottom of my foot, and this one is probably going to look like that, right? Because she's bending it. Now, I don't know about you all, but she could have heels on, she could have tennis shoes on. I'm in Paris, chances are I've got shoes on that I can walk in because it's big and walk. So I'm just going to make some tennis shoes here. Do you see how I don't have a lot of detail on this? I don't have to because I'm going to paint it and I can have some fun with the painting. Now I'm going to erase my knees. I'm going to erase everything that I don't want. I did want her arm there, so I'm going to keep that. And I'm going to come up here to her head, erase that awning. Don't need that. Now, I'm going to add a purse because I think she needs a purse. Every girl needs a good purse, right? So this purse is just like that. I'm going to erase that because it's in front of her body. But behind her arm. Okay. Love it. Now, let's talk about hair. So one of the things for our hair that we could do is, I think I've never had a ponytail in my life, so I'm going to do a ponytail just because. So she's got, you know, those Paris people have those bangs. So I'm going to draw some bangs. Here's her ear. And then here is her round head with her ponytail holder. And her nice poofy. Now, you gotta add a nose. You'll see that. I'm gonna zoom in for you. Yeah. Look at those legs. Yes. Okay. So, now I'm pretty done. I'm about to have some fun painting next. I'm gonna erase this line, erase this line. Uh, oh, what about Sweet Shop? We well, need to have a title, don't we? So I'm erasing this line mainly because I want all this room. I want to make sure that I don't go to the top edge of my piece of paper. So, and remember when we were doing uh, our lettering the other day that I said that we needed to count everything? We could do that, but I just want to have some fun, so I'm not going to. But what I am going to do is I'm going to add my flower. So I want my flower kind of in the middle, so I'm going to start there. So there's my flower. And now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do Sweet Shop. I'm going to go ahead and do Shop first. So here we go. I'm going to add my S. I'm not going to add how thick it is, but I'm going to think about, oh, I need to leave room. All caps, all wide, and know how it's far apart from each other, okay? And it's just single letters. You're going to do the same thing here. Now, sweet has more letters in it than shop. So, you kind of need to know, okay, if this is how long my shop is, I'm holding it. I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to come and go, okay, can I fit a T right there? And I can. So, I'm going to start my S right here. I'm going to go, there's my S. W. Make sure you leave room. There's my ET. All right. I'll be honest with you. I got a little close over here with my W, but that's all right. Okay. Now I have it like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting. Let's have some fun, right? 
Okay, so I told you I'm going to switch colors on you. You can do your pink. You can do your... I am going to do Tiffany Blue is what I think. I've been looking at some of these. And one of the things that I learned is that they always have a dark color and a light color. So, let's first activate our watercolors, right? I'm going to use my spray bottle. But you could use some water and you could go in there. And activate those. So here we go. I've activated it. You need to do that so it's easier. You don't have to use so much water every time you put it on your brush. That's why I do that. Okay, and one of the things I'm going to do, we're going to do this in layers, okay? So what first layer that I'm going to probably do is actually all around, which is going to be the building. So my building is going to be that teal color. So my teal color, I'm going to start here with this one but right there. Y'all see that? And I'm going to come in and I'm just going to add color to the whole thing. Now, if you want something white, you probably shouldn't do this. Like if you wanted a white flower right there, I would not have painted it. But I'm going to come in, and I have water on my brush almost every time. And I'm only doing the paneling that the building would look like. Not the window, not the awning, just those, the wood, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not going to paint my girl. Now, I've done that. I'm going to paint... I am going to paint the floor, so I'm going to paint my floor gray. I don't know. I think that there's just a whole lot of concrete over there in Paris, right? I don't think it's brick, although it could be. I don't really know. I think it's concrete, though. All right, so there's my, um, there's my little... All right, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to do my awning. Now, this is where you get to choose. So, you get to go, okay, so what am I looking for here? Do I want bright color or whatever? Like, I'm thinking about this. And one of the things that I saw that I was going to do is I'm going to stay in the same color range as this except darker. So, one of the things I'm going to do is I came in with a darker teal. And I am going to make it like that. And I'm only painting every other one. I'm not painting the scallops part yet because I haven't made my decision on it. I'm making, I'm trying really hard not to get it on the top there because that top area, right, is, uh, that one's not done, is wet so it could start bleeding. I don't know if I want it to bleed yet. So, I haven't even gone back for more color. I just had that much. I'm going to be real careful next to her face. When I hit her face. Because I don't want her face to be green. We don't want a Martian. Okay. Now, I do think I'm going to make this whole thing dark. So, I'm going to come in. And I'm going to add this all the way. Like that. Okay. Nice. Now, I'm going to do this over here to the door. One of the things that I've noticed about Mr. Paris is they have a lot of dark stuff. It is pastel-y, but at the same time, there's a lot of black or a dark color. So one of the things that I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go bold. I want you to see what I did on this one. I made all of the, whatever accent color I used for my stripes, I used it also for my window. So you can do that. That would work just fine. But I think I'm gonna change it up and I'm gonna go black. I can't believe I'm saying this either, people. I don't ever use black this much, but here we go. I'm gonna do black border around this whole window. I don't know if I'm going to like this. Don't you love it when the teacher doesn't know? That means she's making just like you. One of the things that I do is I know that if I don't like it, 
I can just make another one. Not the end of the world. You should always keep trying over and over and over again. That's your pep talk for the day. You like that? I'm going to make the door that color, but not the hardware. So not the doorknob. Did you see that? I actually knew what it was that time. Okay, I'm not going to do the mail slot either. So I want it to have a color. I'm going to make sure her legs aren't painted. Okay. I'm going to make this whole area back here. Because this is part of the door. Not the pocketbook. Okay. Nice. Alright. That's my first layer. I might go ahead and add my shelving. My shelving needs some line too. You may want to change to your smaller brush. So I've got a little line here, a little line there. I'm going to go ahead and add just like that. I'm going to add a long line right there and a long line right there. Okay. Not bad. Okay. So now what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to my smaller brush for sure. And what I think I'm going to do next is I'm gonna start painting some cake. Let's have some icing. So this is where you can go wherever you want to with icing, right? So I think I'm gonna make this one or this this one a wedding cake. So it's gonna be peachy and it's gonna be light and that kind of thing. So I've got a peach color here and I'm just going at it. Nothing special, all right? I do want you to know that we will go back to each one of these. So don't feel like you have to be perfect. All right, so there's my wedding cake. Next, I'm gonna do some, uh, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go with, let's take some purple. And I'm gonna go, okay, so this cupcake is purple icing and so does this one. This maroon, macaroon, those, just a few. And then this one over here and this one over here has it and um all right so that's my purple next i'm gonna go and i'm gonna say okay i'm gonna have a pink one pink cupcake all right so i'm coming over here doing my pink i'm gonna say that this one's a pink one too do you see how i'm staying with all of the color right like i'm doing it everywhere mainly to save time and to also give us some variety. I think over here, I'm gonna make this one of these cakes a strawberry cake, so I'm gonna come in and paint the whole thing pink. Okay. And, um, okay, that's all. Next, I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do, I don't know, we want a blue? Right, I'm gonna come in, add some blue, and I'm gonna add a blue maroon, macaroon. No, all right, so I'm gonna add another blue to this. Nice, okay. So now my cupcakes are finished. Well, yours might not be, but mine are. And I think I'm gonna make a chocolate cake. A chocolate cake over here so I'm gonna make some dark chocolate on this one all one color not worrying too much about the details yet and I think I'm gonna make this a chocolate pie over here now do you see how I didn't make the chocolate on the same side I made it one on top one on the other well I did that so I could have variety and I think I'm gonna go into a goldy color and I'm gonna make some of these. Be real careful that you're not mixing colors. And I think I'm gonna start doing, you know, cupcake wrap wrappers. Just every once in a while, all right? I'm gonna come in, what color pie, what pie do we want? I want a cherry pie. So I'm gonna add some red dots in here. That one's a red. 
I'm gonna add a little bit of red there. All right. Uh, my daddy loves pumpkin pie the most, so I'm gonna add, this is my pumpkin pie. Okay. Next, I'm gonna come on these, and I think I'm gonna make these wrappers. Nice, nice and colorful. Uh, I got, let's make some red macaroons. Looks kind of red to me, looks pink. And I'm just adding some color there. Now, I've not done anything with this one. What do you think I should do? I think I'm gonna do it as a wedding cake too, but it's gonna be white. And I think I'm gonna add, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna add little flowers to it. What do you say? So I'm gonna take me some red and I'm gonna add just a few little dots. There's one on that side, one on this side. Don't you love how cake people do that? They add these little accents. All right, so there's my flowers on my wedding cake. What kind of cake do we want this to be? We want it to look, maybe it has some fondant. Do y'all know what fondant is? It's not very good to eat, but it's very pretty. All right, I think I'm gonna do, what color? I think I like that purple a lot. I'm gonna do light purple this time. And I'm gonna do it in stripes. There we go. And maybe it has, purple bow on top. Now this one had a bow on top that we didn't do anything with. I think I'm going to do red. Okay. Now, oh, I have one little cake and a couple of those not done. So I think I'm going to go, what kind of cake do we want that to be? Well, first of all, this needs a pie topping. Yeah, do you see how that bled? So what I did is I wiped my brush off to get it dry and then I'm coming in and taking some of that off. All right, and this one here, I think I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna make it a caramel. Barb loves caramel, so we're gonna make it a caramel pie, caramel cake piece. Okay, so back to i'm gonna make this purple here and this purple so that's a whole purple one then i think i'm gonna get a light blue and i'm gonna add it to this right here and this one okay so now all of my cakes are done one of the things i need to do is probably make some plates like this one has a plate so i'm just gonna add some gray there in between each one and then these fancy dancy things like this, you could make it a gold one or you could make it a silver one. Black ones would even work. It probably will end up black by the time I'm done. Okay, so I've now got that part done. Now I'm gonna come over here to her. So I think, what color do you think she's gonna be? I want her to be in red. I'm just being bold here, people. So I've got a red, I'm coloring it in. Her whole outfit is red. But I think I'm gonna give her a black purse. Mm. What color purse do you think she should have? I'm gonna go with black, I still like black. So patent leather, I am a classic black bag girl I know that's kind of boring but she needs a skin tone right so we're gonna put some skin I already have skin and I'm gonna come in and just add that to it now if you don't have a skin tone what you could do is you could add a little bit of orange and a little bit of pink and a lot of water. Did y'all hear that? I said a little bit of orange, a little bit of red, 
and a lot of pink or water. <laughs> I don't know what I said. All right, what color shoes? I think she's going to have some pale blue shoes. Yeah. Okay. Where she shopped. What color is her shopping bag? That's our next move. Her shopping bag, I think I'm going to make it. I could do stripes on it too. Ooh, what color? Ooh, I think I'm going to do lime green. Big old stripes. Yeah. She needs hair, doesn't she? You know, for some reason, I only think Parisians should have black hair. But I'm not going to do that. I feel like I've already got enough black. So I'm going to make her blonde. So I've just got a goldy color in here. And I'm just adding to it. Now, this is my first whole swipe of this, right? I could be done right now. But I'm not going to be. So one of the things I'm going to do on this is I'm going to make this a gold slot right here and a gold doorknob okay I think next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my big brush and I'm gonna do a few other things to my background so it should be dry now so I'm gonna come in with that same color that I used and I'm gonna just add a few lines in this all the way across what this is going to do is add like paneling y'all know what paneling is yeah you do all the way across just like that so now it's given me some color it's added to it it's a little wild but that's okay paris is wild right Okay, I still haven't done anything with my sweet shop. I'm leaving it alone. I'm going to come back down here to my um, awning. And what I'm going to do with my awning, I'm going to get my small brush. And I'm going to get that same color that I used. And I'm going to come in and add just a dark spot all the way down these awnings and I'm going to start at the back and I'm going to work my way front just like that I'm going to do the same right here just every little one adding just a little I think I'm going over today look at you all Instagram it may cut you off And I'm going to do that and that now. All right. So I like it. I'm going to come back to my black. And one of the things I'm going to do with my black is I'm going to outline all of these. Okay. And what this is doing is it's making it have a little bit more... Um, details this is where you detail people can have some fun with your little baby brush and your little baby details I'm not a detailed person but I am gonna bring it like that all right Instagram they're cutting me off see you later people I would love to see what you've done and you see that now I do have this problem though of what's happening in this area here. Believe it or not, it would be a reflection. So I think what I'm going to do is just put like a dark blue back here and then probably come out and I'm barely putting it in there. That's it. I'm going to do some of the same over here, but wait a minute. I'm not going to do that. I want to add detail to these cakes. So what I'm going to do over here on this cake is I'm going to take some gray and I'm going to add it just in the side. I'm going to do the same thing to my little wedding cake here. Just a little gray dot 
I'm going to do it all the way down this one and all the way down over here. I'm going to do a little bit right there. Okay. Next, I'm going to come in with, I think, I don't have to add a whole lot more detail to this, but I'm going to add another, I want these to be bright, these flowers. So I'm just going to add some red dots to them. I'm going to make that strawberry cake. I might even add a strawberry on top of it, just like that, which means I could add some green to it. So I think what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of green to those. So this is just a dot. Okay. And then I've got a little bit of greenery right there for my strawberry. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So I need to add some color up here, some gray. So what I want you to do is... What I want you to do next is to actually add some gray in here. Now that might be too much. So I'm gonna steal some. I'm not stealing, I'm borrowing, right? And I'm gonna come back to this one each time and I'm gonna get it. What this does is it makes this part look like it's back in space. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this, right in here. And one of the things that I'm gonna do next is, so that should be green. I gotta fix that. Come in. All right, now I think I could add some black outlines. To this now do you see how it faded and when it faded it actually blends in and it's going to be more of a gray now and it's going to make this darker now I'm going to add a little bit of color or a line right there so see how I'm adding more detail the more detail I get with these lines and do you see how loose they are it's a sketch it's fun this is not a masterpiece, but even if it was a masterpiece, you don't have to take forever for it. You see how we didn't even add much to her face or anything like that. We're just kind of going with it. So I'm to the point where I'm pretty happy with her. I might add a little bit more red to her. And just a little bit of green to that again. Same color, just in one little spot. You see how that just popped that up? Okay, and the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to work on my sweet shop. Small brush, you need to have a dark color. All right, I'm gonna go with black. So I've got black and I'm coming in and I'm not touching, I don't have my hand on it. I have it very on the top here. And I'm gonna just come in. Now you want your, it to be very dry before you do this. Mine is not. Well, it's sort of dry, but not as good as I want. But that's okay. And I'm gonna come in. I'm not gonna touch my flower yet. Just add that like that. Now, I think I'm going to make a big old red one. And I'm going to make a black dot in the middle of it. Now, you all know that my favorite part is when I add my black lines. So that's what's coming next. Okay, I'm gonna wait for this to dry before I get into that. So I'm gonna come down here because these should be dry. And I'm gonna come in and add 
my details that you all just love to do. And you see how I'm being really sketchy about it. And I'm adding, I'm just kind of going over it. It's pretty quick. And I don't really even care if it's every single line. You're just kind of giving the essence of something. You don't have to because your brain is smart enough to figure it out. Okay, your viewers are not, they, they can figure it out. So you don't have to do all of it. You can let them ha use their imaginations. That's what they should do anyways, right? I mean, art is about that. Do you see how I didn't do every single outline to that? But I just did a little bit. All right, I'm not gonna do every macaroon either. Macaroon, macaroon. My grandmother used to make macaroons. They were so pretty. All right, so come in, add a little bit of that to that wedding cake, come in, and like I said, I told you this would probably end up black. All right, and next, I think, where I'm gonna keep going here, I have definitely had fun today. And I don't know what we're going to do next week. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next week. I will probably figure that out. If not Sunday, probably Monday for sure and post. I'm about to have some fun though. I'm going to start some new projects. So it might mean I limit this a little bit. All right. Do you see how I'm just... Continuing on adding little things here. I did not go over every detail of our girl here. I did not, like you could even add this Nike swoosh. Do you think they have Nike in? Uh, yeah, they have Nike. Of course, everybody has Nike, right? So I'm just gonna add these right here. Do, 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 do. do you see how that wasn't even in the same line? I bet that's killing some of you gonna add a little bit of dots to this because I love dots. I'm gonna come in and use that right there and my big dots for that. And I'm liking it. You all liking it? When I add that right there, I, every once in a while I'm gonna add just a little line in here. Not very much because you don't want to like go crazy with it. You see that? All right, and now when this is completely dry, you're gonna go in and you're gonna trace it out. Now you could be really nice and easy or you could be messy just like me. But you wanna make sure that it's dry before you do it and you're gonna add thickness to it when you do this. And you see how it's not perfect because I kind of like that the highlight is on it. Thanks, Carrie. I did have, I have fun doing this. Sometimes it's like you just need to have some fun. So what do you want to paint? All right. And that is my trip to Perry. Make sure you sign your name and date it. And I would love to see it if you did it. Uh, you can let me know. Other than that, I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. And I'm supposed to be pretty here. I can't wait. And I will talk to you all later. You see how I'm adding stuff? I can't stop. I can't stop. Oh, goodness. I can't stop. This is what happens when you just have some fun. Ooh, I like that. Did you all like that? Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Really, I am. All right, bye guys. Hope you have fun. Bye.